So welcome to a video of the best jets in the game and surprise surprise it's not actually the F4 nor the MiG-21 nor the MiG-19 even it's actually um, this and the reason why this is the best jet in the game is because of uh, one word which is actually five that's the SRAMs and as you'll see in this game or in these games I come off some ridiculous game uh, kills with the SRAMs and just so you're aware, usually when I record a video like this, it takes me a while, maybe 10 matches or along those lines, just to get all the footage. Um, with this, it took me, those four matches you see here are just literally the first four matches I played, just because of how easy this plane is to fly. Not easy. Um, how, if you know how what you're doing, then you can do well. And this plane, I've played loads, I've speeded it already, and I'll continue to playing it. And you can see here how obviously times have changed, certainly just fighting Sabres, MiG-15s and now fighting F4, Phantom 2s and MiG-21s. Um, so, mm, you know, it doesn't matter because they're actually easier to fight than things like the Sabres. And you'll soon see why. So the SRAMs are kind of difficult to use once you first learn how to like, first get them. And you'll see here, I think my first SRAM shot of the video is a miss. Uh, look, watch this, like, oh, they're so undodgeable. Look, he, he dodges it. Uh, either that or the SRAM, you know, mess around with its um, tracking. It sometimes does that. Um, but then I go again for the shot and uh, I get the kill. So the really important thing with the SRAM is uh, you need to know when to use them. If you use them just when someone's behind, or when you're just behind someone, then you're not going to get anything. Those are those missiles are really really easy to dodge. If you use them when someone is turning and you give them some need, as you see here, nothing they can do. That was actually my first MiG-21 kill as well, uh, and you know, he was obliterated. So essentially, that's really like the how you use the S rams. You just wait for the lock, as you'll see here. I know he's too far out, so I try and fire around one and a half kilometers. It depends though how uh, the target is. But I'll go for a look again. One and a half kilometers closer, okay, let me give him the lead. And okay. now, obviously, at this point, it is kind of easy to dodge those missiles um, if you know they're coming and if you know how to dodge them. But generally, they're kind of difficult to dodge. Um, if they aimed like that and aimed well. So here we are in the second game. The first game I went to land and I was killed. So I didn't really think I should put that in the video. Uh, just because why would I put that? Now this second match I believe is longer. Now being down to it and at this point I'm feeling kind of cocky because you know I'm bossing the game from being top tiered with the new amazing planes, you know, the F4 Phantom to be so overpowered, which I mean it has its problems but it is quite fast as well it's really good if you know how to use it um, but you know obviously here I am now this plane doesn't really climb that well but I climb with it just so I can give myself some you know cushioning so I can dive down if necessary I have green for maneuvers and you can see here again I fire off a missile I have a nice MiG-17 give me lead you should and I think there's MiG-15 and then for the MiG-17 um, so that's what happens with the s -trans. that's when they can get confused. You can see again I missed another one. I don't know whether he dodged it or if he, you know, if the missile was like, how many targets do you want me to fire at? And then it got uh, confused and just was like, I'm going to go for everyone at the same time. So you can see here, the 17 is firing missiles at me. Now if he fired s -trans, I would have still dodged them because, like I said, s -trans are incredibly easy to dodge um, if they're fired from behind. If I was, like, for example, in this position, someone fired even, I don't know, obviously, something like an M9B or, or like an SRAM at me, then I'd have died. But as you can see, I turn back over and I go for this um, MiG 15. Now, you can see here the SRAM again, they try and lock onto everything, so he locked onto the FJ. I was like, no, that's my friend. MiG 15 goes up, far from the south, and he goes. And they are so satisfying to fire this round. So again, I'm trying to go for MiG-17, but I see that he's coming towards me. 
those grams don't really do plant aspects. They do rare aspects from like around 40, sorry, 4 kilometers, not 4 kilometers. And um, plus, look on somewhere from the front, then uh, into wait until the base is built off you, and that's not good. At that point, you might as well use your cans, which, of course, I mean, four Adams, like, that's uh, one of the best um, can loadouts in the game. I need to check which has the highest burst mass, but that's certainly a fair, like, fair burst mass. I don't know why the MiG-17 launch rocket from 3.7 kilometers away. Um, but each of their own, I suppose. So you can see here, I'm going to save uh, the try and save the F2 saber from that MiG-17 15 or something. Um, something I've noticed is that these pilots in my team are trash, are so bad. If I was an F2 saber, apart from the MiG-15, I could be over. Like how? Obviously, I don't know. Maybe he's out of ammo or something, but like how? How? Like he, he's not even like fighting. He's struggling. Make it think he has all the advantages and everything. Uh, but no. Okay. So, oh, one second. I opened the wrong tab. Okay. So as you can see, uh, I see him slowly dying. In the MiG-17. The MiG-17 AS seems to be a decent plane. I probably won't buy it because I want to spend money, and also because the cannons on the MiG-15 and the MiG-17 are so difficult to use. They are so like, oh, no, thank you. Like against bombers, which I think they're designed to good fight against bombers, but against bombers they're fine. Um, but obviously, like pretty much every, I won't say that, but loads of weapons against bombers are fine. Um, but uh, against fighters, it's so awkward to use. It's so awkward. You don't even have that much ammunition. Uh, so I go to my uh, team. I only have one S ramp because I mean I'm not gonna say that this makes or breaks the plane, but it probably won't be 9.7 if they had um, didn't have the S ramps just because it is. Like if you look at the other plane at 9.7, I have 100, which should be 10.2 in my opinion. That is a plane which has. Uh, let's watch this miss. How embarrassing, how embarrassing. Um, I didn't want to go for the S rounds because I realised the vast majority of the enemy team is, well, not the vast majority, but quite a few of the enemy team is still there. Um, so I thought I would just use the S round for someone who's actually difficult to get. Um, but yeah, F100, 947, supersonic, has A9Es, which are quite good. And also, look at this ground pounding, you know, loadout. It's ridiculous. Like, okay, you can use like I think the best loadout for this. We do have bombs. We can also have S rams and normal rockets. Uh, but I don't actually take this thing around I'll be because I don't have the Challenger two or top tier tanks, which I really, really want to get. But I don't like grinding for tanks. Grinding for tanks is difficult. So I go for this big fifteen here because I think I would rather save. Like, I think the F two saver can save himself. And uh, the MiG 50 and the A5 Saber. You know, it's kind of worse. I think I actually, I thought I actually missed that missile. Uh, but I luckily get the kill. And now I'll go over. And at this point, I'm like, okay, you know, I can help the team here. We can still get the win. Uh, but then, like, I remember, like, the Saber, I literally just saved to get killed. And, like, I haven't seen the replay of how they're fighting, but come on. Like, how? How? Um, only 15 comes in. Right, okay. Uh, and he does a nice dodge there because if he was flying straight over, uh, if he didn't move, then I would have got him, I think. Uh, but he did. And this guy in the enemy team complains about his team, even though he crashed or died. I'm like, come on, man. Uh, so I see behind me, MiG 17 and MiG 15. Um, I honestly. Oh, that makes sense because I, I didn't know there were two big seven so as soon as I saw the crash and seven, I was like, okay, it's just me best in the 15, it should be fine. Yeah, but the MiG 17 is still the Hunter F7, F6, F7, F6. Um, it's just about the same speed as the Hunter F1, and the Hunter F6 is far faster. So now I see the MiG 15 kill the F2 Saber. Like, I'm properly, properly, I'm with this team. But I'm like, okay, 
the mix 15 and the mix 17 and like this plane isn't like i don't have the srams isn't like the premium carrying plane but i should be untouchable if i play it smart and i mean i still have a while left on this match but i do play it smart um spoiler alert, i win um the way i won you might not be too impressed with uh so uh you know but I still get the win and um, I get uh, a decent win as well so as you can see I am properly outpacing the league 17 but then I notice wait one second is that league 15 gone oh no what is he doing um so try to look back I don't really see anyone so what okay the league 15 obviously went back to base he was spraying a lot before for the, with the F2C but I don't know how, many, how much ammunition he had before so I'm just going to turn and I'm going to you know, try and intercept him. I hate um, and usually don't strafe people on the one way. Um, so I want to get there before he is that he before he landed basically. So as you can see the Hunter F6 also can reach nearly supersonic levels at sea level. So map 0.95 is about the um, limit. But you can see here I'm being kind of uh, you know not cocky but when I'm turning in front of the big 17, if it was something like uh, if it was something with cans like the Aidens, I wouldn't turn. Um, but the mix 17, I know, has cannons which are such a pain to uh, aim. And especially because the mix 17 is supreme, so there might be like a premium new guy who's like level 10, just thinks, so oh, you know what, I can buy a jet, so I think I will and he uh, lands in a new world which uh, he's not used to so i'm searching for the mig 15 here uh, i don't actually see him on the screen i'm like oh, okay where is he um and like i said i don't want to strafe him on the one way so i really do ideally want to get him before he lands i put on smoke because uh yes and so all around i'm looking trying to figure out okay let me at least see the final MiG-17, I saw the MiG-17 and like, okay, he's far. And the MiG-17 can climb well. And I think I spot the MiG-15, he's probably far out of the runway. And I think to myself, okay, he can't be repairing there, so I might as well just go for the shot. So, I dive down. And you can see here, when I dive, I try to break the speed of the sounds so I can scare them with the sonic boom. Because those planes, I don't think, can do that one, not as easily. So you can see, um, going, you know, traveling fast, boom, you can't actually hear it. Then I see the Mika team travel to the front of the runway, I'm like, okay, fine, so he did actually repair. I'm going to straight him as he uh, takes off, because I'm not that kind of guy. So I go up. Mika 17 catches up. But at this point, I know that this is just because I'm now approaching his altitude, so like, I'm actually literally outpacing him. And I mean, you can see just how nice the hunter is. And perhaps I'm pretty sure we're to waiting. This is a top 9.7. Even though you know, huge matches you get are um, you know, it's you're the only subsonic plane. But then again, even when I play these matches, I'm so often like nine times out of ten top of the just because of the SRAMs. And you can see here, I, I'm basically bullying them. There's nothing those two can do. You can see also the tickets are bleeding, and I didn't want to win by ticket loss, so I did try to, um, uh, you know, kill them. But at the same time, I don't want to die myself. And spoiler alert, I do win by ticket loss. Um, so it is what it is. But as you can see, I'm climbing up now. Uh, try to get that separation, but also I really want to kill that MiG-15. Now, in reality, was, there isn't really much of a difference between the MiG-15 and the MiG-17. In terms of, okay, the MiG-17 might be slightly less maneuverable, but still far more maneuverable than the other one trying to fight him. So I turn in, like I said, I'm not too afraid of, you know, the MiG-17's cannons that are hard to aim. And I see the MiG-15, like, honestly, if I was the MiG-15, I would just run and then climb and then come back, not climb right in front of the guy who has four aliens. Uh, and he knows his Uh Goodbye. And now we have the MiG-17. I'm like, okay. Tickets are bleeding. Seems we have the automatic win on this one. And 
there is uh, you know the mix 17 I want to turn right now oh, I'm building. oh my god I want to turn immediately I want to try and get uh, you know a good position where I can easily kill him and he can't kill me but the thing is with the hunter just because it's not that maneuverable that's kind of hard to get I'll go for the head on um, I'm pretty sure the mix 17 sees he's taking loss and he's thinking well oh, come on come on I need to kill him quickly and it must be really frustrating for him, but at the same time, it's not as if I'm playing passively. I am, as you can see, obviously trying to go for the kill. But I also am playing it safely. And I win. So that's a shame, but you know, it happens. So, um, the next two matches are um, more exciting. That match I know, but I just wanted to showcase this, what this plane is capable of when it's down to it, because like I said, this is probably at this point the best plane in the game. It's because of how easy it is. Not easy it is to use, but it's his capabilities. And the next two matches are up to his again, which is a, okay, the majority of the matches that you fight in. F4 comes in, he rips. Uh, I don't really want to set an S round just because he didn't have the lead. Now, I see these, this F100 and the MiG 21, I'm like, okay, you know what, I'll, I'll try and go for them. I know they're both faster than me, but, you know. One little step up and kaboom! There's an extra on them. Uh, so, you know, I'll go for them. Um, but as you can see, they are fast. They, are, they have properly gone, and they make 21 especially is fast. And, uh, you know, I keep going. I'll go for the F100, but then he crashes. He rips his wings off, legit. Like, F100 pilots are properly trash. I have four pilots as well. I think you see, maybe not in this game, but the next game, just how bad some American pilots are. And I would say some, I mean most. Why well, do you think they're 100 is such a low BR? Well, 9.7 isn't that low, but still. So I see an F100 behind me. I'm like, okay, time for the Swirly Whirly. Um, Swirly Whirly is obviously just dodging defensive flying. The Hunter does decently. Um, real skill you need to know is uh, you need to connect to G as well. I was going to send an S round, but I knew it was because uh, the way he's travelling, he's travelling away. The S round will run out of fuel. But you see here, what is that? This is what he's doing. And the hunter, the hunter, I can understand why he's doing that. Um, but F one hundred, he. And then he hit the F one hundred there as well. And so I'm like, okay, fine. So let me turn back round. I see there's a hunter. The hunter obviously is priority target because the air strands are very capable. So if you think of things such as you know, the saber, um, you can't really do much in this kind of uh, battles because of how slow he is. Um, I still go for the, you know, go for the hunter. And the hunter obviously is what he's doing. He dodges that. Um, so I turn round. Go for the Saber who killed an F100 again. Like, how? How is it? A5 Saber. Launch this round and kabam. That two kills. And that just shows, like, how does an A5 Saber kill an F100? Why is the F100 even in that position? Uh, I don't know. So you see, the Hunter, he gets a full S round kill on the Wicked team. Good job, well then. I'm like, okay, well, I need to kill this. Hunter then. So I turn over, get the lock, get the lock, there we go. And again, I don't have the lead, so I'm not going to fire yet. But as I turn in, I turn, get some kind of lead, and then uh, fire. And no chance. And then I see obviously there's an F100 here. I go for their head on. And then I have time for some uh, chats, you know. Uh, I SRM do do SRMer. And then I think I cut the video soon. Yeah, anyway. So yeah, there's an F100. But uh, even though I turned to him, F100, he knows what he's doing this time. He uh, properly gets out of there. I go for a quick sneaky shot. There we go. Um, but he's off. And I crash it. I gave him a rip my wing. So, hey, hey. so we have here the last game, the final game. Um, and. Again, so up to which is no surprise, but you get used to up to his. Um, 
Thankfully I ran that there trams before this update while they would have properly been in it. Like imagine fighting these kind of planes with just your cannons in it. Although I suppose it would have been possible. So I see behind me there's a Sabre I believe. An A5 Sabre, there's no chance he's going to get me. No chance. So I loop back over. There's also that the F5, the May 17 with afterburners. Again, he actually can he get me? No, I'm not too sure. But let's just say no. I don't know. Um so I go back down. Those two targets are nice premium targets for some S drumming. Mmm. Very nice. Uh, you, I mean, after a while you get to know like when you find a missile what's gonna hit, what's not gonna hit. So I go for the F A5 and going pause and then I go for the F5 and I fire up the S RAM. And uh Good, so that's one guy down. Let's uh go round and over. And let's try and get that F5, uh, sorry, the A5. And again, I will want the S RAMs. I go for the hits or for the lead, and then I see okay. You know the F4 is coming that far off another S RAM. What is he going to do? Nothing, because he's dead. Um, the S Rams, that was kind of bullying. I mean, he was an A5 saber that was slow because he had to dodge, but he can't dodge forever. He can't dodge the undodgeable missiles, even though, as you saw, those missiles are quite easy to dodge. And that hunter there is actually a hunter F1, uh, which you don't see that often. Um, actually, I didn't see that often. Now I see them more often because everyone's like, oh, the S Rams are really good actually. Like, they were always good. I don't know whether they were actually buffed or not. I mean, they feel like they were before they were broken in the last patch. Um, and when I say broken, I mean you can't use them broken, or as in too powerful broken. So go for the J72, which is that MiG-21. That's basically MiG-21. Now, I still haven't at this point got a uh, J72 kill. Now look behind me. Guess I'll fire. There's no one behind me though. And by still turn. Uh, I see there's an F100 going up. I'm like, okay, this is another premium target for an S run. Uh, but he uh, just, you know, goes away. And so I just go over and try to get this 100 here. Try and get the lock, and I do get the lock. And I fire, and he's dead. I kind of he's dead before. Yeah, he's dead. At this point, you know, I'm like, okay, cool. Well, where's my next target? We're doing quite well for the team. Um, there's a missile, but like easily dodged, easily dodged. I mean, this FJ4 knows that. Um, essentially, all the missiles is just trying to get me turning, and so I turn. I don't turn so I can actually give him a target. I turn so I can kill him, um, or have him killed. Either way, I bait him up for the MiG-17. He notices it and tries and turns, and uh, there's an F-100. Oh, okay, this is interesting. F-100 kills the FJ. IFJ and then another F100 kills Army 17. So currently I'm kind of in a predicament, but then F100 looks swings. There are four kills the FJ. Or yeah. Then the F4 crashes. Uh, and so currently it's like, okay, this is kind of overwhelming. Um everything is happening. And uh yeah, I'm just gonna get out of this. And so I fly off to where I see some enemies. Now uh, there's a J72 and there's an F100. Try and go for the F100, but I notice he's coming right for me. So I'm like, okay, fine, let me go for the head on. I obviously missed the head on. Um, and there's an J72. So J72, make 21 basically. I uh, go up, and that was the last mistake I made in this game. Like, the last thing I'll do against J72 is to go up because they lose energy so quickly and it turns so well. Then J22 and then MiG-21 that's like no chance, no chance. He knows the missile at me, but I dodge that. Uh, oh, the F100 might have. I'm like, okay, uh, this is the end. I get killed by the J72. So, so yeah. thank you for watching uh, this video on the Hunter F6. Of course, uh, Hunter F6. I don't know whether the S rams are going to be nerfed or not, but I hope not because they are amazing. Like, look at the look at their pull. Look at their pull. 20 G's, you know, etc. 
they are amazing to fight and it actually makes it fair because um, when other planes, other nations have uh, jets which go Mach 2 then Britain doesn't even have a supersonic jet here it's expected to compete against those I mean you need to have some kind of balancing factor and I think the S round was the perfect balancing factor so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and hope to see you soon and uh, goodbye